Hello all and welcome to Khati Chidi. We have sculpted this character, UV mapped it, then textured it. It is all recorded in a playlist. If you haven't, I highly recommend you check out the series. Now, finally the time has come to render this character. And for that, I'm gonna be using Blender. I will be telling you some render settings, 3-point light setup and many more. You can also get this model from my ArtStation store. It would help me support the channel. So without any further ado, let's begin. So you have heard many times about this 3 points light setup. This method is fundamentally used to light any character in either 3D or in a real studio. Now what exactly is 3 point light setup? These are 3 lights. Key light, fill light and rim light. Key light is the main light. It will focus on the focal point of your model. Mainly what you want audience to see or concentrate on that part. Fill light is needed to fill the blackout areas after using the key light. But the power doesn't need to be higher than the key light. It only serves the purpose of filling the dark areas which has been created by the key light. Rim light in other hand is the unique one. It is used to create highlights around the edges of your model. Although sometimes it works but sometimes it is often not used. But if used properly it can shine up your model really quickly. These three lights are essential if you are rendering your character. It's short and simple. Although additional lights can be added. There are no restrictions about how how many lights to use. You can use many as you want, but lesser the amount, the more control you can have. Now back to our character, the one which we are supposed to render today. I have already added textures to this character. So first, I am gonna be using Cycles, not Eevee. And then I will turn the world color to pure black. I usually render my models in pitch dark, so I can see the effects of light properly. Now I need to set the camera. I will press 0 on my numpad and it will open the camera. Click this arrow to open the side panel. Check the box which says camera to view. What it will do is it will lock your camera to view so however you rotate your cursor the camera will follow. Now what I usually do is split the screen. So at one end I could just turn off the overlays and on the other side I could switch to viewport shading and add and move lights around. I will turn off the lock your camera on the viewport. Then I will select the camera, object data properties and viewport display. I will increase the passe part out. Now what it does is if you are in a camera mode you would see only the screen which is in your camera box. Outside would be black empty. It helps make you less distracted when finalizing the composition. Now we are ready to begin. I will delete this light which is point and will add the area light. I usually use area lights most of the time. They are amazing and it helps to be in some kind of control when handling the light. It just makes the job really easy. Now if I go to the power and increase the power to 500 or more, I could see the effects of the key light. I always happen to have the area lights in the default position like this. Having this position, light does not spread away hence keeping the situation in control. This is supposed to be our key light, so I will choose which area would be highlighted the most. The other dark areas you see will be fixed by the fill light. Now I will duplicate the key light, this time I will change its angle. There is a really good hot key, if you press shift T, the angle of the light will be locked to your cursor and you can set the angle freely. I will also move the light away and maybe increase the size to make it soft. I will also reduce the power, let's say half the amount of key light which is 250. Maybe decrease the power of key light and moving it up a little bit. Also reducing the power of the fill light and just play with the settings. Move lights around sort of like experimenting until the thing starts looking right. I will also quickly add the rim light. For that I am gonna be adding the point light. Increase the power to for example 250. Position the dim light on the back side of the face where you want the highlight to spot on. You could also hide the other light to see the effects of this light more properly. We we'll reveal more where the highlight is happening. Now this is called 3 point light setup. We have a key light, then a fill light, then a rim light in the end. This is how it is supposed to be done if you are rendering a character. The final result is here you could see. All I need is to add a plane and be done with it. But the situation can be different. Your scene could have more characters compared to mine. For that you can add additional lights to make things more spice up. But keep the lights less as possible and keep it to 3 which is 3 point light setup. The more lights you have, the more time you would have to spend it. But if it feels necessary to add more lights, just do it. 
There is not like a hardcore rule or anything that you have to use only three lights. Just do what it feels right. But keep the basics in mind which is this three point light setup. Finally, add a plane, scale it up and give it a material according to the color scheme of your character. Study colors and harmony if you have to. Choose the color is very important. It is as equal as important as rendering. And yes, I mean the colors of the textures as well. Now comes the rendering part. I keep most of the render settings default. Few things I tweak before I render out the final image. If I go to this render section, you need to focus on this section for the final render settings. The default samples for the renders are 4096. I will just reduce the amount to 2000 because I will going to use the denoiser on it, which I can do that from clicking this box here. Now all I need to do is press F12 on my keyboard to render the final image. You can also go to render and click on render image. So this is it guys, the final part of the series. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember lights and render are equally as important as modeling itself. So spend some time with it and if you like the video please like share subscribe and do comment i will see you again soon in the next video